Hello there, I'm going to show you how to make this really simple decorative DIY Christmas tree wall hanging. As you can see, I have some sequins on there and also some decorative buttons and also some trim. It's very, very, very sparkly and it's a Christmas DIY hanging decoration. Before we do anything, we need to make this triangle shape. And I've got a piece of cardstock here. It's going to be much easier for you if you do it on cardstock because it's much thicker than paper because we're going to use this as a template for our triangle. So let's start to make this pattern. So I'm going to line this up on my cutting mat and I'm going to go where it says eight here. And I am going to line up my ruler with that eight so I know that I've got a perfectly straight line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to do five from here. So one, two, three, four, five inches. So I'm going to go here to here. And that is a five inch square. Five inch this way to this way. So half of five inches is obviously two and a half inches. So I am going to find my two and a half inches and I'm going to line it up here. And I'm basically going to do a dotted line from the top all the way down. So this is two and a half inches. Inches from the five inch marks. Now what I want to do is count five, one, two, three, four, five, which is here. And I'm going to go all the way across there. Now this is the top here of my triangle. Now from this center here to this end here, we're going to join it up. So you're going to get your ruler and you are going to join that corner up. And then from up here, you're going to join the other corner up. So if you don't have a cutting machine or anything, this is how you are going to create your pattern. So now you get to put it all out and that will be your template for this Christmas tree triangle decoration. I don't even know what to call it. There you go. All cut. Now you're going to need 20 of these pieces of fabric. Now I have put them right sides together. So one triangle is two pieces of fabric. So I have got a piece of fabric here and I'm going to put my pattern on top and I've got both sides right sides together and this is going to fit this triangle. And then I'm going to take a pencil or a pen whatever and I'm going to go around this pattern like so and then I'm going to cut this out the tip here is to make sure that this fabric is pressed otherwise it could have some creases in it and it may not create a perfect triangle so make sure that your fabric is pressed so as you can see, there are 10 triangles, but don't forget, they all need backings. So there's going to be 20 all together. So now you're going to take your triangles and you're going to sew them together and you're going to sew them at a quarter of an inch, but you're going to leave a gap in the middle of a bottom of one of them. And I've got one here. So you're going to leave this opening because we need to stuff this with some polyfill afterwards. So you're going to leave an opening at the bottom and I wouldn't leave the opening at the corner. Always sew your corners up and then just leave an opening like so. Once you have everything sewn together, you're going to turn everything right sides out. So where we left that opening, you're going to pull everything through 
and very gently poke them corners through and then what I like to do is fold this opening over so it's all nice and then just press it so that opening is now nice and flat so when we want to sew it in a minute it's going to be nice to join together now I'm going to take some regular polyester stuff in this is stuff that you would use for teddy bears now you don't need to overstuff these, it's just to create just a little bit of a 3D effect. You're going to put some in every single triangle. Just a little bit. And I would leave just enough so you could just run that over with your sewing machine so you don't have to do any hand stitching at all. Like I said, there's absolutely no reason for you to overstuff these because then I can go back and just sew this into place with my sewing machine. I'm going to do a little stump for the bottom here. So I've cut this piece of fabric out five inches by five inches and I'll leave that space in the middle to turn right sides out. And just like with them other sections, we're just going to poke these corners out and then just give it a nice press. And like I said, just don't overfill this. The whole point is just to give it a slight 3D effect. Now take all these over to your sewing machine and just stitch every single one of these closed. You do it with this one and you're going to do it with all of your triangle shapes. Ignore the bottom of the tree until the end. So what we're going to start doing now is with a hand needle, you are going to tack down these corners here. So you're going to tack down these corners together, these corners together, these corners together. And you're going to do the same at the top here. And then once you've attached these corners, then you can go ahead and attach the three together here. So let's start doing that. Now, once these sections are all joined together like so, you can go ahead and start connecting these parts up too. Once everything is all attached, I am going to place this stump here right in the middle of these two triangles. Don't forget you're going to need something to hang it with. So I've got some cute pink ribbon here. So I'm just going to measure it up and put my hanging on the back and just attach it by sewing it on to the back. Right now I think it's a bit of a boring Christmas tree so I'm definitely going to add some sparkle to it. So I'm going to get my trims and start adding stuff to it. As you can see I have added these sparkly buttons on there and you can see that it's now a fancy twinkly Christmas tree. This is how it looks on the back of my door. I'm going to go in a little bit closer here. It's mega, mega sparkly. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have over 400 videos. Also like and comment. Bye-bye.